But yeah, yeah, that's a single mom uh, that raised me when, uh, you know, she, it's like, we were, she was 17, we were both kids. We raised each other, okay? It's basically how it went. And I was such a bad kid growing up because I didn't have a dad, okay? And that's the thing, is like, when you don't have that extra parent to help you, you can be an unruly kid. And I was. I was, I was such a bad kid growing up that when my mom met my stepdad and they got married when I, went to, when I was going into middle school, uh, he refused to, uh, like, refer to me as his stepson when he adopted me, and he only referred to me as a rescue. I was like, wow, okay. Yeah, that was a fun birthday card, you know? Uh. But yeah, so here's the cool thing is I got a cool family dynamic, all right? So now um, uh, my mom and my stepdad had kids and later in life when you're supposed to, not in high school, you know? So they had kids uh, when I went to college. Yeah, so I have a brother now that is 18 years old, freshman in college, and I have a sister that is 14, almost 15, uh, freshman in high school. And for reference, for those of you who don't know, I am 37 years old. Yeah, the best part about that is when people don't know my family dynamic and they see my family photo for the first time on the wall and just the look of panic on their faces. They're like, what the fuck are you doing with that family, dude? It's a fun game, I guess who the mistake was. Yeah, that's what it is. And it's me, I'm the mistake, obviously. You know, I like being the mistake though, I embrace it. You know why? Because anytime I fuck up in life, anytime I tell a joke you guys don't like, I can just look at you and be like, look, I'm not even supposed to be here, okay? This isn't my fault. Some of you didn't like that. Some of you are like, that's just sad, okay? Uh, but still to this day, I don't know my real dad. Still, I don't. But I'll hear a fun fact about him every once in a while. Uh, like this last Thanksgiving, my uncle decided to tell me some, some fun fables, I guess, if you will. Uh, I, like Thanksgiving, my uncle comes up to me and he goes, hey man, uh, you know that dad you got? I was like, no, no I don't, you asshole. Thanks for the reminder, but okay. And he looked at me and goes, uh, he goes, well, I just, you know what I mean. I gotta tell you something important about your real dad. I said, uh oh. And I'm thinking it's like a health problem, something genetic that I should be aware of. But no, he just looked at me and he goes, your real dad's got seven families now. <laughs> That's it. And then he just walked away. That's a weird thing to casually drop over Thanksgiving dinner, right? Seven families, that's insane, because he's obviously not in the NBA, look at me, you know, like, so. <laughs> you guys like that punchline, I like you, all right. But it really did mess with my head, it really did, it messed with my head, because that means I got brothers and sisters out there that I have never met, okay? And it's especially weird for me, because I am a single dude, and now every time I meet a woman that says she's from Connecticut, I'm like, yo, who's your daddy, huh? Like, what's happening? Yeah, you got a 23 and me, I don't do this uh, Game of Thrones shit, you know? Like, 